Hello my darlings, it's Zui here, and today I'm bringing you another Bakugo Katsuki fanfiction. Uh, this time it's a little bit on the shorter end because uh, the happenings in the story are quite fast, and uh, it would just hurt the flow if I would take longer breaks in between sentences. But regardless of that, I hope you still enjoy it just as much as I enjoyed writing it. As a matter of fact, I I unbelievably enjoyed writing this one. Actually, I was laughing the entire time while I was writing it. <clears throat> anyways, anyways, it's it's good. It's good. Don't worry. It's really funny. You're going to love it. <clears throat> anyways, my darlings, if you have any money to spare, I would greatly appreciate any donation to my merch store on my Patreon. Both links are down in the description. But I would obviously understand if you don't have any money to spare, which is completely understandable. It is fine. It is fine. Don't worry about it. Uh, but in that case, I would simply like to ask you if you could maybe watch the video until the end, like or dislike, and comment something down below. And if you're new here and you would like to join my beautiful darling doll army, just simply subscribe. That's all you need to do to sign up. Now, I really, really hope you enjoy the story. Here we go. Your squad had reached the swarms of desolation. Weapons drawn. You and your team had been hunted over the past hour. Koda and Jiro were already dead in the gutter. Guys, I think we can't win this. Mumbled Tokoyama. This is about pride, Tokoyama, muttered Mineta while reloading. Yes, but a single guy managed to wipe us out to the point where we're needing to escape. You frowned. At least he won't follow us here. This is the unfriendliest place you can imagine. Should we build a base? Something temporary, I mean, said the really worried Momo. Her body was shivering. She could no longer handle the pressure of this situation. As their squad leader, it was your responsibility to get these people to calm down. We are bigger in numbers. It's fine. We just need to reach a point where he can't... An explosion. Two clicks away from your group. The guy's calling card. Ready your guns, you commanded. Your team got into position. The air was thick from the swarm's gases and the mental strain from the past 60 minutes. The wind began to pick up. It would make it harder for Momo and Todoroki to hit with their rifles. You gave the latter a questioning look. Because of Todoroki's childhood, he didn't really have much experience with these kinds of things. He gave you a reassuring look. I'm fine. Saying that made you feel better. Another explosion went off, this time closer. He is coming! growled Mineta. First came the wild animals, scared of the loud sounds. A rhino was charging straight towards your squad. He's trying to make us waste ammo on these! shouted Tokoyama. I know! was your only response as you dodged out of the creature's way, its deadly horn missing you by mere inches. Holy fuck! You laughed. This was my best dodge yet! But there was no time to celebrate as a loud hiss passed your ear. The guy was back, and he just barely missed you. The rampaging animals around you were drowning out his sniper fire. But right before you could make it known to the others what was happening, you heard a loud splat noise, and your world went dark. Game over. Jesus Christ, she's dead! shouted Izuku. Yes, I know, I know, he's using the animals as a distraction. Just, just run! You grumbled into your mic. 
you and your friends of Class 1A were having a get-together in Heroes and Dragons, a modern fantasy survival MMORPG, the Sunday evening. Usually either one of your friends was busy with learning, or other school activities, or family. So it was a rare occasion. So you all had decided to play Heroes and Dragons to take over servers as a team by making others rage quit by killing them over and over. Of course, Izuku was hard to convince to do it. He had only agreed after Uraka had nagged him about it for an entire week. What you didn't expect was that three hours in your first server raid was this really, really good player. Systematically ruining your and your friends' experience. The way Heroes and Dragons dealt with respawning was that you could always revive in a bed you owned, but should all beds be destroyed, your character would die for about an hour, forcing you to either quit the game or go into a different server. And of course this uber player managed to break all your team's beds within the first 30 minutes of him going after you. You heard the desperate cries of your teammates and eventually you had enough and threw your headset. I'll be going AFK, be back later, you sighed. Grumbling to yourself, you left your dorm room. It was very late in the evening. The people who didn't join you for your hardcore gaming night were probably all in bed already. But you didn't care. After taking a few turns, you arrived at your destination. Too frustrated to even knock, you entered Bakugo's room, heading straight for his bed and throwing yourself on it, disregarding if he was already sleeping in it or not. Luckily, he was at his desk. You heard him close his laptop and taking a deep breath. Before I'm going to lose my shit, I want to give you a chance to run. You groaned, whatever, while grabbing his pillow and burying your head in it. It smelled like his watermelon shampoo. He always took a shower before bed. You have five seconds to tell me why you were here and why you are humping my fucking pillow. His tone got angrier with every word. We got killed. You huffed into the pillow. I didn't hear that. You threw the pillow at his face. We got killed! You shouted. There was this guy in purple armor shooting at... Something soft at your face. He had thrown the pillow back at you. Trying to swallow your own bubbling anger, you put it back where it belonged before continuing. <sighs> this guy was slaughtering us, basically. Katsuki raised an eyebrow. So, like, a hacker? He asked. You shook your head. He was missing too many shots for that, and we did manage to flank him and kill him once or twice, but, you know, he respawned. Also, if he would have been a hacker, this wouldn't have turned into a matter of pride. Bakugo scoffed. I don't play many games. They're a waste of time. Only good when you're waiting for something, like, like a doctor's office. I don't know. You frowned. Ah, oh, come on. It's not my fault you got bodied. Why did you come to me anyways? Your frown deepened. You're my boyfriend. You're supposed to comfort me at a time like this. He grinned. Last time I remember, you said you needed some space. You didn't know what to respond. But he was right. And tears began to build up in your eyes. I'm sorry, Bakugo. You cried. He sighed and stood up and walked over to you. Once in front of you, Katsuki Slimpil asked, Wanna get out? You nodded and felt his arms envelop you. Feeling your boyfriend's warm body pressed against yours made you regain some of the confidence you'd lost from the game. You closed your eyes and took a deep breath. 
You didn't know which heartbeat belonged to who, but it felt really comforting. And you felt like you were about to sleep. <laughs> Wanna crash over for the night? He suggested. It's late, and you look like you don't want to be alone tonight. You happily nodded. After his pre-sleep shower, Bakugo cuddled up next to you, burying his head in your neck. You sighed. <sighs> look, you wanted this. He rolled his eyes. No, no, it's, it's not that. You rolled around to look at him. This guy, he was playing this really dumb dubstep song over the mic and I can't get it out of my head. <laughs> Bakugo chuckled and reached behind him for his phone and began searching through it. While his eyes were focused on the screen, he muttered just loud enough for you to hear. You know... Even though I said I don't play many games, I do play my fair share of heroes and dragons. Your heart stopped for a moment. No. Actually, I've been playing it since elementary school. No. No. Was this the song the guy played? He clicked the play button. No fucking way. You nodded. And he laughed. I'm sorry, sweetheart, but I'm the man behind the slaughter. <laughs>